Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, a nice little recent purchase I've made is this um, little uh, mini power and SWR meter. So it's like a die cast aluminium, very well made. Internal rechargeable battery as well. Uh, the reason I, I purchased this, I wanted something that I could test uh, the efficiency of uh, antennas on uh, Andy Talkies and the ones I want to test is my Anytone 878 and the uh, Bofeng UV9R Plus antenna. These are both stock antennas. Anyway, you get this as well. Like I say, it's a rechargeable, um, it's got its own internal rechargeable battery. Um, it's come from a company called Latnex. Now, uh, I believe they're based in the Netherlands, but um, this, um, this particular well, I know for a fact it's been manufactured in China because there's a bit of uh, Chinese writing on the box as well. What you actually get in the pack as well is all these little adapters here and also you get a little 5 watt 50 ohm dummy load as well, which, which is good. You also get a uh, USB, a micro USB to USB for, um, for charging it. Not that I'll be using that, I've got plenty of leads knocking around. And a uh, plug adapter as well. Uh, this one looks like it's for, for European, the main uh, mainland Europe. But uh, again, I won't be using that. So what I want to do is test the uh, efficiency um, of these two radios. And some little points to note, which don't make a lot of sense to me. But uh, there's two points here, do's and don'ts. Now, if you want to look at what power you're putting forward, you want to also know what's being reflected as well. But uh, it's saying don't do check power with the antenna connected. Um, check it by using the, the dummy load. But uh, anyway, by the by, I'm not really interested in the, the RF output of these devices. Uh, they, they perform to spec apart from the Bofeng, which was advertised as something like 9 watts. But it's nothing like that at all. It's about, it's about 3.84 watts. Um, the uh, Anytone has a turbo uh, mode for power, low, medium, high, and NT for turbo, which is above 5 watts. So I'll keep that on high anyway. So yeah, so what it's saying is as well, now I can understand this a little bit, that when you're checking the uh, measured uh, antennas SWR, you need to be also holding the, uh, the device as well as your handheld. But anyway, let's see how I get on. And... Uh, I'll catch you in a moment. I'll just get set up and uh, we'll get straight to it. Right, different time of the day. If you have uh, observed, it's now uh, daylight outside. Um, I was waiting for uh, a friend of mine to go out for a run and he'd come a bit early, so I had to cut it short. So anyway, so I'm going to start with the uh, the Bofeng UV9R+. Plus. Uh, I've picked two frequencies, simplex frequencies on... 2 meters and 70 serms. Behind me I've got a, an SDR running anyway. I have put a call out earlier. Uh, there's no activity. Not that I doubt anybody will be hearing me anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, key up. And primarily I'm just going to be looking at the uh, the SWR. So first test UV9R stock antenna as well. I've had to put a couple of these adapters in. Um, because uh, I, could, I could screw this directly into the radio. But it catches the... Uh, the raised lamp part. Both things like to put lamps in their radios. So anyway, let's start. So I'm um, I'm on uh, VHF two meters. So I'm going to key up now. Uh, bear in mind, I need to switch it on. Press and hold. Now, if the display is flickering, it's not just flickering to me. It's just the camera settings and the LED. So uh, anyway, so we're going to do uh, just SWR. So this is uh, VHF now. One point zero one to one. Okay, surprising. Uh, let's do UHF seventy sums. So there's a bit of activity then. No. Wow. One point zero one to one. Okay. Um, well, I'll run the same test on the Anytone. Uh, let's see if I get any different results. I mean, to me, that's suggesting that um, everything's uh, perfect. Just see what forward power is going out the radio there. 3.8 watts. 
Right, uh, let's get on to the Anytone. Right, same again. Now this is the Anytone 878. I've used the same adapters, obviously, because now the uh, the bottom of the, the little digital uh, tester unit will catch the um, this channel selector there. So, right, okay, let's switch it on. Okay, let's double check the frequency. Nobody's on. Okay. I'm going to start on VHF, two meters. I'm sure I'm on high power. The reason I'm angling the radio like this is just easier to hold for me, uh, for camera. Wow. 3.2 to 1. Okay. Let's go to UHF, 70 centimetres. Okay. Let's do that again. Power was 5.3 watts. That's on high power on this radio. Right, uh, interesting results. Um, so what we're saying is uh, with this antenna, um, it's not very efficient at all, very poor on two. And I probably know the reason behind that. So I'll just take it off here now, move that out of the way. I did actually drop the radio and obviously it landed on the antenna itself. Bear with me if there's a bit of camera shape. I'm just trying to just get the display back up. Yeah, so yeah, so you can see the bend. So it did, it was quite aggressive. So that would suggest that this antenna is um, not very good at all. What I want to do is why I've done this. Um, the Bofeng one, uh, the Bofeng itself showed efficiency, um, more or less a perfect match on two and 70. So I'm going to just try this again. Uh, but with a different antenna, but using, not that radio. Where's another one gone? Blah, 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 blah. Here it is, sorry. <laughs> this, one, this one here that I use for the test. So I'm gonna use a different antenna and I think I'm gonna go with uh, this Nagoya, which is a MA701. Uh, paid about five pounds for this. I believe it to be a copy, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to give that a whirl. So uh, catch you uh, shortly. Right back using the both a UV9. So UV9R Plus with the Nagoya um, antenna here. Yeah? The NA701. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, right, so... Switch on the tester. Okay, let's double check. Everybody's on frequency one four. Oh, yeah, well, okay. So we're going to be testing the VHF two meter two meters now. I'm using full high power on the on the radio and check the SWR. One point zero five. What's the forward power? Sorry, that was the last one. Let's try again. One point zero seven SWR. Um, okay, let's do UHF seventy cents. Two point one to one, okay. Just didn't 
Oh, sorry, this has gone loose again. Let's try again. Yeah, two point three, so slightly high then. Um, so why I'm in, sh why I'm actually this is in shot. I'm actually just going to change this now back to the um, Bofeng stock antenna. And just make sure that it just wasn't a coincidence or a fluke or just double check because this was too good to be true. Okay, so we're on. UHF was my last. Oops. Okay, I hope you can still see that in camera. Let's key up. 1.01 UHF. Well, there you go. Um, do you know what? Let's just try the Anytone antenna. Just to see if that was performing as bad as it was. Okay, we're going for VHF. I'll just do the two meter test because that's where it was high. Yeah, okay. That's pretty poor. So there you go. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this little uh, video on this PM100W uh, little tester. I have seen some deals of late on Amazon uh, and this has been going for around £45. So uh, a lot less than what I originally paid. I hope you like this video. See you again soon. 7-3.